Gary Garcia had the coronavirus the 5th of April and didn't leave UMC until May 1st. He is still recovering from complications from the disease. Going to the doctor just today, he says it's something he thinks he will have to deal with for a long time. This is life after COVID-19. The nightmares I was having was real ugly and um, it's just been really tough for us. For Larry Garcia, even months after contracting the virus, he is still recovering. Not from COVID-19, but its effects. It affected my eye vision, it affected my blood pressure, and uh, I'm still going through a lot of my nerves are, are not right. Uh, I do a, I have the shakes real bad. Spending four weeks in a coma and paralyzed. Not only that, but the long list of medications he's taking has caused him to break out in a rash. When they stuck that uh, equipment down my throat, it affected my 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 voice. And uh, in the mornings when I wake up, I don't have a voice. And he's not alone. Many patients who have recovered from the coronavirus are still dealing with its complications. Common is uh, scarring of the long tissue. Uh, whatever uh, uh, tissue, any tissue uh, has scarring, there is a very... Uh, low chance of, uh, of recovery of those tissues. Folks like Garcia, who were seemingly healthy, having to spend time in the ICU and their lives changing in a way they would have never imagined before. Man, I could work from sun up to sundown. Garcia says he's learned a lot after getting coronavirus and wants to remind people this is nothing to take lightly. It just doesn't cure in two weeks. And I've been out of work for four months already. But he is still a fighter and it's the support of his loved ones who kept him going even during the darkest of times. I almost didn't make it. You know, the prayers that my wife and my friends and family did for me helped me out a lot. Dr. Stressa says since so many of our new cases of coronavirus are found within young people, he wants to remind folks who seem healthy they can still face complications or pass along the coronavirus to others who are at high risk. He adds that people need to follow CDC guidelines and practice social distancing. Garcia also adds he hopes he will be back to work very soon. Terry.